The Rolling Stones, one of the remaining bands from the classic rock era, have experimented with several genres to stay creatively relevant. Even if this invention hasn't always worked, some of their most dubious content dates back to the 1980s, it has paid off when they most needed it. The Rolling Stones have experimented with a wide range of styles, which makes sense because, like any respectable band, they have always attempted to adapt to the changing times. Their work from that era captures the musical zeitgeist of their most important chapters, whether it is disco, soul, or psychedelic. They've ventured further than others into the world of country music, for example. It was an inevitable element of their trajectory, given its proximity to the two genres that the British band is most famous with, blues and rock, and guitarist Keith Richards' love of open tunings. The song Dead Flowers, which is taken from the 1971 album Sticky Fingers, is one of the more noteworthy songs from this foray into country music. The song had such an impact that legendary country musician Towns Van Zant recorded a version of it. In 2003, Richard's association with legendary Flying Burrito Brothers member Graham Parsons and the Birds served as inspiration. Jagger acknowledged that he felt his songwriting partner's voice fit the song better than his own. The country songs we later recorded, such as Dead Flowers on Sticky Fingers or Far Away Eyes on Some Girls, are a little bit different from our earlier recordings, he stated. The song is played just as it is, but I'm not buying into the whole thing because I consider myself a blues singer rather than a country singer, and I believe Keith's voice is more fit for the song.